everybody is doing well. So, this is my first video, my first attempt at making one, and I'm going to start it with an unboxing of what I just got in. Uh, been waiting on this, I would say patiently, but not patiently, <clears throat> to get here. So, myself, I am usually a builder of plastic models. I build mostly airplanes. And I've done several of those, quite a few actually. Well, I was looking on the line one day and I saw the little the little ad for a little wooden ship and I got it. This is it right here. It's the first one I built. And it was my first move into a wooden ship. And it doesn't look like much I know. That was pretty much what the kit was. It was like nine dollars or something from Wish and nothing really fancy or really great. But I enjoyed it. So I bought I got an Artesian Latina Swift boat, Swift pilot boat, and I built that and I thoroughly enjoyed it. it took a couple of months. It was a uh, quite a bit of work and I want to challenge my skills and I want to continue building these beautiful beautiful ships uh, I have found that working in wood is so much better I built a uh, 196 scale USS Constitution by Ravel and while that that build took a good nine months to do it was a very satisfying build I enjoyed building the ships so this finally came today and it's from Oakland and uh, if you haven't built a wooden ship yet or haven't got it into them something that I really enjoy so we're gonna do an unboxing with this uh, take a look at it real quick and then I'm gonna follow this up with a succession of build videos as I go through and build this and this is the second wooden ship that I built this one's gonna be a little more it's over a little over an intermediate level so it's going to be more challenging and there's going to be a lot of learning along the way so let's take a look what we got inside we have hms beagle and i chose the beagle because i've been watching a series on youtube about a gentleman that was building the beagle and just watching him do it and seeing it, I sort of fell in love with the ship. I just love the look of it. I love the design of it. It's a it's a beautiful, beautiful kit. And so I decided I wanted to do this one. And here it is. So you got a picture of the ship on the front, some of the things that are attached with it. The box is a, just a basic box made in Europe. Um, this is all laser cut wood. Let's open her up here. I'm going to set this aside. You're in my hobby closet. It literally is a closet that I have my hobby space in. I was relegated to this area so drink kits can have rooms. All right, so the first thing we got here is the parts kit. And you see we got some thread in here, anchors, steel rods, chains, pins, uh, nails, the cannons, all sorts of stuff. We'll open this up in a minute. You have a paint call out. And this is for, actually covers all the kits if you can see it there and you basically just go have to do it down and find your kit and the x marks what colors that you need for the kit uh, i believe i do have all these colors already so i'm not too, too concerned there i'll be using acrylic paint i want to do it in a gloss uh, just because i like the way it looks it looks really nice down into this part all right 
So, first things first. The instructions. The instructions are actually in several languages. And you get the English references right here. And it just gives tips on creating the boat. You have a parts call out. Again, in several languages. As you can see, in the listing, you got your parts here, your spare pair, your pieces, the blade, you know, such as the blade pin down here, dead eyes, that type of stuff. You've got your drawings. Now these are when you get ready to start making the bow sprits and the mast and everything. These are all one to one scale. So that is the scale. That is how big the bow sprit is going to be. It shows you how to build it, where any of the blocks, the tackle goes, uh, pins, that type of stuff. And that walks you through for the mast, the yard arms, all the other masts. We have the instruction book in color. Now, one thing this kit doesn't have that the Artesian Live Tina kit had that I built, the Swift book, actually had a CD with it where you could uh, put it on your computer and it would display on the screen. So it was really nice. This one has the code up here at the top. And when you scan that, it's going to take you to the website. I believe there's 133 videos at Oakry that go over the detail of building this kit. So each step-by-step -step detail, it goes a little more in-depth because the instructions can get a little confusing sometimes. So this is just the basic layout of the hull, how everything goes, the laying out of the planking on the decks, the building of the... All the whole pieces. The covering of the hull. This is a two plank uh, kit. So you have your initial plank that'll go down. And it, it's got to be nice and smooth. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, there's no need for any wood putty or fillers and fill any of the gaps. Because you're going to come back over it this to give it a final covering. And this walks through everything. Beautiful colored pictures. Let you see what colors everything needs to be. It does come with a stand. Comes with the lifeboats. In the back, of course, is the rigging diagrams. Gives you running and standing riggings. So, those are the instructions. And they are rather large. The table I have is not a huge table, but we'll figure out a way to do these. I can actually hang them on the wall if I have to. Are your cells? There's a lot more thread in here, so you have plenty of thread. The cells are cloth cells. Very nice, very nicely done. They're sewn. So, really nothing you need to do with them. They're actually quite beautiful. I typically, I do not. I've built a couple of sailboats and I've never really put the sails on because it's always been plastic sails and I just don't like the way that looks. But the last one I built, the Swift boat, had cloth sails and I put those on and I actually like the look of it. So, this is more than likely going to get sails put on it. These are the whole cells, and then again, more thread. <coughs> you got your planks here for, uh, looks like the decking for the, the main floor, the decking, or the 
covering for the hull. Plenty of dowel rods here. These are for the yards, the mast. And there are different kinds of wood in here, if you can see it. So we'll have to watch for what the call out is on the type of wood, the thickness. You got your bulwarks here. All sorts of stuff in here. Really, really well put together. So that's all your wood strips, your plank in, your covering for your hole. Of course, this all have to be bent into shape, which is so much fun. It looks like. And then we got our sheets here. set a photo etch, doors, windows, got a study of the kit, these are for your, your dead eyes, little windows and things to go in the little houses and whatnot, straps. All right. This has got your base, your kill, your rudder, some mass pieces. These are the light folks. Your main kill, or the beginning parts of the build for your frame, your skeleton. Uh, this looks like different parts for different little wheels for the cannons, mast pieces, Here's your deck, your main deck, the fore and the aft decks, the stern, all really well done, so the pieces for your skeleton lay out your frame. So each of these will serve a purpose to put together with this. I'm going to leave these on top because that's the first thing we'll be dealing with. Inside the kit here, let's see. Okay. Cannons, nicely detailed, wooden dead eyes and blocks, steering wheel, windows of the cabin, a little beetle, the namesake of the ship. The laying pins, more blocks, more dead eyes, chain, hinges for your rudder assembly, tacks, capstan, all sorts of stuff. Have your flags. It's sort of a cloth flag here, so I don't know. Exactly how well this will do, but we'll see. That 
that's what you're getting in the kit. So it's going to be a fun kit to build. It's going to be a time-consuming kit to build. I know that already. It's going to take several episodes, but I'm going to persevere through it. Uh, this is going to be a challenge, but I'm ready to meet the challenge, and uh, I hope you enjoy the journey with it. Uh, like I said, I'm more of a plastic model guy. Uh, I've always worked in plastic. However, I have caught the wooden bug, so to say, uh, and I'm hoping this will, the wife doesn't want it to make it worse, but I'm, I have a feeling this might make it worse, so but we will see. Anyway, that is it for the unboxing. We'll see what we got to work with. Hopefully you can enjoy it, enjoy me. Uh, if there's any suggestions that you might have as I'm going through the series, anything you see that I might be doing wrong or might need to look at, leave me a comment. Let me know. I'm very open to suggestions. Like I said, I'm new at this. So this is going to be a learning experience So, uh, for me and possibly for you. Anyway, so look forward to the next one, which we will start on the skeleton and start getting this bad boy put together. So have a great day. And uh, just keep building.